friends, it's Nancy. Um, I went out and did a little bit of thrifting this, uh, the, this morning, and I did really good. So I'm going to share a thrift haul and um, show you what I was able to say. So I did go to the weigh and pay, but the, I went to the first regular thrift store, and I got this book, and it's um, it's old. And it's full of these little pieces of, um, like there's Prince Charles kissing his sister Anne. There's uh, the former Prince of Wales, Edward. Um, and here's a, I don't know, some kind of a postcard or something, the Prince of Wales. Um, there's a Prince, the Prince of Wales and Princess Mary. This is uh, some newspaper. But it's all full of magazine clippings and newspaper clippings it's just really interesting so um, what's this There's the Windsors. I don't know what all's in here. There's the, the Duchess of Windsor. Bill Cosby. This is a drawing. But all through the book is, is all of these really interesting news clippings about uh, former... These are photos that are in the book. Um, he must have made uh, an official trip to Africa. I'll have to Google that and find out when that happened. So these are all photos. Um, and there's a picture of the King Edward VIII, as he was for about ten months. There, it's, that's when he was the general governor general of the Bahamas. He was still the king there. I just thought this was really interesting. Oh, oh, look at that. So I'm going to have fun going through all of this. Edward the Seventh. So somebody collected this kind of things. It's interesting how the newspaper colored the books. Anyway. I thought that was really interesting. I paid five dollars for that. Much, much more than I would normally pay for a book, but there you have it. Um, I got some uh, scrapbook paper. I think I'll tea-dye this. There's not very much there, but um, they did have quite a lot. I got a bunch of sewing stuff. This was at the um, by the pound store, the, the weigh and pay. So I've got quite a bit of um, seam binding in various colors. These have prices on them, but that doesn't mean anything. This is because it was all just thrown in a bag and weighed. This is um, some kind of cream colored fabric. That'll be good. Seam binding. That's some pretty rickrack. Here's some old seam binding. 
There's some big wide rickrack. There was some um, oh my gosh grommets. What's the other word? <laughs> I can't remember. Eyelets. Uh, again, I found little advertisements inside of um, skeins of crochet cotton. And I like these. They're good. This I thought was really interesting. Rick Rack ahead, sort of a sharper, a sharper chevron shape rather than the more roundy. Um, I got these little pieces of lace. These are little gingerbread dolls. Um, I will make a tag out of that. There's some tiny little seed pearls. Men more mending wool. I'll make a tag out of that. Oh, these are um, place cards with little bells. Some blue. I thought these buttons were cute. They have flowers. Seam binding. Look at the baby pink. Yellow. This is Rick Rick that has sort of like a, a little pico make it a little extra fancier. I thought that was really smart. Um, I'm going to pick this um, gathering strip out and just make that flat lace. It's it's uh, a nice color and it's not one that I have. Maybe. Then I got these bigger gingerbread dolls. Lace gingerbread dolls. This is a headband, and I got it because I like this fabric rose. Not so sure about the red, the gold one, but I like the white one. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I think this is probably um, from a tag from a new sweater or something. But I like that baby pink square button. There's some gold um, seam binding, package of needles. These are from. Uh, crochet cotton balls crochet cotton here's some green seam binding and some buttons this one has some church related themes gold roses so that was interesting I believe I couldn't think of the word eyelet. Please. So I'll have to uh, sort through all this and um, wash my seam binding so I can make it all crinkly. There was clearly some tinsel in there. <laughs> Most of this I'll toss out. It's just the colored eyelets that I'm going to keep. There's a hand crocheted uh, pot holder. And I did get some um, doilies, some hand crochet doilies. There's one that's kind of an ecru. I love this one. It's a, a turquoise color. Now these prices don't mean anything because like I said this was uh, at the, the way and pay. This one's especially nice. I like that. That could almost like be the cover of a book, couldn't it? Something to consider. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I got this cute little book. The Sleepy Pig That Wouldn't Get Up. Um, it has this little chain, ball and chain thing. And the date on it is 1941. So it has these really cute little piggy illustrations. I have no idea where it came from. And I do want to make a, a pig journal. I've been collecting pig items, so that might go in there. 
Um, this is a vintage book. Uh, wild animals I have known. Um, books were 44 cents a pound today. This is brand new. It's, but it's vintage. So, uh, 1966. And it has, um, some pictures in it. Some little line drawings. So I'll go through that and see what I might like to keep. And, oh, I got this piece of fabric. It's kind of a satiny kind of fabric. But it has the, these, um, embroidered ribbony like roses all over it so that's really cute um, I don't know maybe it's 18 by 24 if I don't include this part that doesn't have the embroidery and oh I got a I'll show you my teapot. This is beautiful. It's a, a spode teapot. It has this pretty basket weave on it. And it's, um, where's the lid? Here's the lid. So I'm ridiculously happy about that. And I also got this little figurine. It's a holly hobby. It says 1990 on it. And I got this set of napkins that have cake and pie, bread, carb coma got a set of four and I thought um, these might be nice to make a cookbook journal um, so I will toss those in the laundry see what comes out oh I got this brownie annual so this was uh, printed in uh, Great Britain and it's all black and white drawings. It's from 1961, I think. Yeah, 1961. Okay. So I thought that was interesting. And then I got a whole whack of music. Um, I think this was 1940, 1948. And it's all, it's all um, music. And it's really dark and aged. Um, I like that the titles have different fonts. Robin's Return. That was fun. And I got a whole bunch of sheet music. And I wouldn't ordinarily get this. Um, but like I said, it was 44 cents a pound. So some, oh, this one, there's two of these, and they fold out. And this one is, you'll never know. So I thought that was neat.
St. Louis Blues. That's fun. Look at the cow. Cow, cow, boogie. That was, that was from wartime, I believe. I remember hearing it in a movie. Does it say? Walter Lance. Didn't he make, um, Woody Woodpecker? 1941. Yeah. So I got all that music. Here's another one. The Bumble Boogie. Based on the flight of the bumblebee. Um, I got this Christmas card journal. It, it was brand new still wrapped up in plastic and I, I took it out. It looks like a mouse chewing on it or something. I took it out of the plastic so I could see what the pages look like. So I'm gonna tear that apart. This is a travel diary. So originally it was twelve dollars. Has um, some maps in the back. Travel. So you, you know, track the weather and what you did and what you saw kind of thing. So I will take that apart. That looks interesting. This is a diary. And actually, the first few pages are written on this is from 1987, but that's it. And then the rest is all this, um, to, uh, like pink, um, almost like graph paper. So I thought that would be fun. And then some of my favorite things. These were just okay. I hope I didn't miss anything. My camera turned off at one point, but I think this is where we were. Um, so I got this little pet. They're actually like cards. Memo cards. Age for Management Corporation. And it, they're, they're, um, oh my god perforated so I can tear them and I thought well that might be kind of interesting hmm. this was clearly somebody's wine journal but the pages are super nice so I'm going to be tearing those apart I don't know what this is but it's decoupage I don't know. We'll give it a shot. See if I can make anything out of it. Uh, these are some. These are some tags. They're from the dollar store. But I thought, oh, there's some really pretty, shabby, chic-looking ones in there that I could mess up. Um, like this one here. These little labels, maybe. They can have a bath and some tea. But I got this bag of library cards. Quite a few there. And these um, library envelopes, pockets. So I'm super jazzed about that. How often would you find that? And I clearly didn't see them at the thrift store, because they were only 50 cents at the thrift store. Um, these are just labels, um, report cover labels. I think I can vintage those up a bit. These are just pieces of card in general. And I thought, oh, those would be handy to make little tags. Um, I got this giant box of little mini envelopes. 
Not really bent. And they are four by two and three quarters. So I thought those were kind of cute. So there's got to be hundreds in there. And then something funny happened. one recipe card. I would have loved to have found a lot more, but just one. A couple weeks ago I was thrifting and uh, I found two big reams of onion skin paper and it's old. And I sent a picture to uh, Catherine from Sunnyside Journals and I said, should I, shouldn't I? And if she had come right back on and said, do it, I would have bought them. But I thought they were kind of pricey. Uh, oh, I'll wait till it's that color sticker sale. These were at the Weigh and Pay yesterday. Where's the one with the label? So it's eight and a half by 11 unglazed white onion skin paper. And they are, they're opened, but they're, they're full. I can't wait to give some of these a bath in some tea. Even this is old. I like that color of that card. Uh, so that was the paper end of things. Um, I have done a little other thrifting this week. Not, um, not yesterday. Found a couple of music books. Actually, I found four music books. They were 50 cents a piece. This one had, this was taped in the front. Um, I like the graphics on this front cover. This one, I remember, this is a Whitman. I remember having this at home when we were kids. Um, and so that's got to take it into the 70s. Copyright 1969 and 47. This is, I'm guessing this is 69. And I really like the illustrations, the pastel illustrations. I want to do a pink Christmas journal. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen this Christmas. This will definitely be going in. And I found this book. This was a library book um, at one point. And there's Betsy. I read these books when I was a kid. I don't think I read Merry Christmas from Betsy, but I definitely read stories from the, the Betsy series. So I remember... Um, she gets a baby sister for Christmas and they were trying to think of a name for the baby and they ended up naming the baby star. So that's some illustrations, but it was mostly the cover that I was interested in. That was kind of a nice little trip in the Wayback Machine thinking about that. Um, what else? You want a sneak peek of my title page for my Edith Holden journal. So this is an, a book from the 1940s. Let me see. 1947. 
Um, this illustration is not from the Country Diary. This is Edith Holden, but it's from, is it Nature Notes? 1905. So this isn't the 1906, this is the 1905 uh, journal. So I fussy cut all around there. It did, it did go lower. There was another bird down here, but I had to cut him off in order to get this low enough so that you could see the original title. So uh, this book was, um, it talks about uh, this gentleman's observations of birds throughout the year. Um, and this, these are all the December days. And one of them includes, and this happens annually, the December um, census, the Christmas census of birds. This still happens. So here is a fold out that includes what birds were seen on right from 1925 to 1945. So I'm starting to put the pages together. I've got my template ready to start popping them in. I've got my um, back reinforced. Put a piece of card in there and I've got it sh right to the end. Like I shoved it underneath the fabric on both ends and then this is masking tape. So I will be stitching my signatures in. I haven't selected all of the papers yet. So that's what I'll be doing today. And uh, thinking about how I can decorate the cover. I was thinking I might like to age it a bit more and maybe add some gilding. I love the color because it's sort of that, um, you know, the gray, green, blue colors that have been pretty prominent in uh, the, the items that we've been making. I think it's going to turn out really great. So I'm super excited about that and I'm looking forward to working on it. So that's your um, little teaser. Okay, so thanks so much for watching my thrift haul and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.